welcome to my channel, Chemist Crafts. My name is Kim, and if this is your first time stopping in, I hope you enjoy this video. If you've been here before, as always, thank you for your continued support. We are here with another post review. This is very late for me. Um, I finished this in February, so yeah, it's a little late. I forgot I even had to do it, but I did want to give this, show this painting some love and just go over it a little bit here with you. Um, so this is Hello Moon. It's from Oraloa and the artist is Veonette. It is a 50 by 60 and she is, isn't she so beautiful? <laughs> I think she's so beautiful. She's so pretty. Um, we have the stained glass in the back and she has this little jewel piece. Don't ask. I actually looked it up and it's some crazy word that I can't say, <laughs> but she has this little like um, forehead necklace that has a moon and, and then some jewels next to it. And she worked up fairly quickly. Let me give you some stats. I did do this on my first review, but let's just, okay, so Hello Moon. Uh, it, so it took me a total of 16 days from the day I started to the day I finished, but I only actually worked on this for 13 of those 16 days and a total of 30 hours and four minutes. So she did work up very quickly. I'm sure you can see there's quite a bit of color blocking on her. Um, her face, obviously, there's a lot of color blocking. And then in the background, there is some confetti and color transitions in some of these stained glass panes, um, like this one and this one, and obviously where you see these swirls. Uh, here and here I can see quite a few different colors, but then on this side, there's quite a few that it's it's very, you know, um, color blocky. So that worked up quick. The most confetti that I had was in her waves on her hair here, um, but it was all still a lot of fun. We had this black border here that was actually a lot of fun to do, and it kept um, the lines, the rows, very, very straight. So I know I talk about the Oraloa squares quite a bit, um, and... Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so I'm trying to put my knee on my chair here. Um, anyway, uh, but this is why, guys, and I, I, I just, uh, come on. I mean, I, I'm, I can't get any closer than this without it not, you guys not knowing. So here's like one of the confetti ones. But, like, uh, they just fit together so perfectly. Um, as you can see, there's not... Look how shiny and sparkly they are. Now, as always, you know, there is going to be some... Um, spacing and gapping and stuff. Well, I don't even know if you call it that, but it's always for me, and I know this is a placement issue. Um, for me, I always tend to find it in the light color blocky areas. So here we go, her face. This is where I have like, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. You know what, let me put it on this. I think it's because I'm bad. Uh, I swear, there's some here. It is it is kind of hard to see, even in real life. Okay, there, in her nose. Just this area here. Um, just a little bit right here. I can probably push those and get them straighter 
even like I think this row looks like it's a little lower than the others but like this these two that's it guys I mean this and obviously when you're looking at it like this it looks colored in I mean it's crazy how great these drills fit together I cannot cannot say enough about these drills look how straight that border is I mean it's crazy and I know that yes some of it's my placement you know I've gotten fairly good at placing squares straight uh, I do have a video on it but I'm also going to say that it's also the drills in the grid because no matter how straight I place them if the drills are crappy it's not happening and if the grid is not the right size there's only so much you can do so it's the product as well right so i that's why i say give oraloa squares a try if you have not i have had i have done three squares from them and my outcome has been the same all three times perfect I cannot say enough about them. I guess I probably can. You guys are probably tired of hearing it because I do talk about it quite a lot. But it's because the outcome is really honestly frame worthy. And I just, I just, you know, like to pass on to you quality. So that all being said, I did not embellish this at all. I did not add any ABs to it. And I forget how many there were four there were four and there weren't a lot of them so we have the yellow ab in her headband here and then in the moon um and someone had said had made a comment that her hair must have a ton of abs in it it does not it's just these drills are so shiny and pigmented that it, it does look like that so that was a, a huge compliment i thought um, but there is some here, I see here, here, some here, a little, but that's it. Like all of this in her hair, that's all normal drills down here, normal drills. There's just a little bit of highlighting that's like right in here, here, and then here. And that's really it guys. Some along her collar, I think, yeah, in, in these, um, in this like trim here there's some ab's and everything else is just their shiny shiny beautiful normal regular square drills so yeah i had a lot of fun working on her i always wanted to do um one of vayanette's uh girls she has quite a few of these really cute girls and portraits um and different things so I was really happy to get her done and I'm very very happy with the outcome I think she's just so cute so I'm gonna move her aside and we're gonna kit down oh I do want to tell you I did run out of a color I forgot so here's my drills I don't have a, a crazy amount of anything left over um, and I did run out of a color hmm which one was it I feel like it was it yeah it was h I, I i was gonna say i thought it was h but i also thought it was i don't know why i thought it was like a tan color but there, there is no tan color except for her face so it was h but here's the kicker i actually had a bag of oraloa in my stash of this color and matched perfectly and of course I had the consistency and the straightness of the Orlo squares and so I just pulled that bag out and I utilized those I didn't even need them all I, and I only needed a handful but I did run out of a color so I ran out of 340 and that was it that's the only color I ran out of and then I did have a decent amount of trash because like I said in my it looks like this is like a quarter full in my um in my you know how to how i diamond pink squares straight 
um, I say that I'm very picky with my square drills. So if there's any kind of hint of a foot or anything like hanging off of that square drill, it's going in the garbage um, and I'll deal with the outcome of it later. And so, yeah, I, I tend to have a decent amount of trash when it comes to squares uh, for the most part. So we're going to go ahead and kit this down. Let me just go grab my, look at the shine. I have the window open next to me. And yeah, we're loving it. Um, I'm going to go grab all the stuff I need to kit down. Well, at least all the stuff I think I need because you know I always forget something. And uh, let's go ahead and get this kitted down. Hold on one second. All right, guys. I, I, th I think I got everything. I, for the life of me, cannot think of what else I could potentially need, but that always happens. So I'm, I'm going to expand my box because you can, uh, well, you can't see cause I had the paper over it, but these are, we have, we have, um, actually maybe we do have room. We do have room. If it starts to get tight, we'll expand it. So we'll expand it like we did our rounds. But I, I think maybe I can get away with one more kit down. So I was like, I need to do a video. And this video has is well overdue, way overdue, right? And um, squares. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. I... I almost get, did a kit up video because that's what I really wanted to do. And I'm just like, no, because this video is so long overdue and it's not fair to the canvas. She didn't do anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So uh, I'm first going to mark, let's mark this stuff. I remember I found a better way of doing everything. Okay, so 209, now I have an Oraloa. And 211, now I have an Oraloa. So this is my um, book that I never refer to and is probably completely unnecessary. However, here I do it every time because... I don't know. I'm always like, well, what if I'll need it? What if I need it? So I have at the top DAC, Orlo, Dreamer, and Premium. Um, I'm going to have to add Bella Art to that. See, I get crazy. I, I should not be allowed to do this. <laughs> I should have my kit down card revoked. 333, we have that in here. Um, 761. I, you know, it's funny. Someone needs, um, I'm sure someone needs to, I, they've probably done a million, but they need to check out why our brains are wired the way they are. Cause I need to know what, what my issue is. 761 is this one's the tightest here and I can feel it. 760. 762 so I don't have it I was just double checking because so it's salmon so we're gonna go with a pink so I do tr so I use these um, plastic baseball card dividers as my um, whatever you want to call it my dividers for my colors and then I use these sheets to label them. And this is my way of knowing if I have the color or not. So 761, now I have an Oraloa. Um, now I'm, I'm just going in, I'm not going in order this way because then I'm flipping. So now I'm going to 823, which is just the next page. And I have an Oraloa, and then I have to go to the 37. So 3750, 3750, and 37, 3708 cornflower blue. Really? I don't have that one. So 
So let's see. I'll know if I don't have this sticker as well. 3708. Is that what I said? 37. Oh, no. See? I did 3808 because I was like, um, cornflower blue does not look like cornflower blue. But I... Thirty-seven oh eight. I don't have that either. <laughs> All right, so that's on this page. Thirty-seven oh eight. Melon light. It's still a pink. It's a pink, and I saw it on here. Thirty-seven oh eight. Okay. Now you need breakfast, and so my stomach's gonna growl because it hates me. 3750, 3750, antique blue, very dark. I don't have that either. 3750, oh, it's like a turquoisey. This is 38, oh my God. All right, I sh now I really should just stop. 3750, here we go. Oh, that is a dark blue. Okay. Jeez, that was difficult. And that was just one of eight. Oh, Lord. All right, so now we're going to go backwards. Well, this is an AB, 3607 AB. I don't chart in here. Um, so the next, we need 900s. So this is, this is the fastest way that I've found... So, 995. 995. Electric Blue Dark. We have a card, but this will be my first Oroloa. And then 939. 939, we have an Oroloa. And then 827. 827 blue very light we don't even have a card for that 827 uh we do have a card for that this is a fail gosh 27, 23, 27. Yeah, we do have a card for that. And I have no idea. It looks like an Oroloa, to be honest with you. So we'll just keep that checked. <laughs> okay, and then 826. 826, medium blue. I wonder if that's the one I just checked off. Nope, we have that one too. Okay. Mm. All right. So now we're, I'm going to go backwards again. So 747. 747, sky blue, very light. I have an Oroloa. 951. 951. Tawny light. I have a card, but this will be my first Oroloa. And then 3713. 3713 salmon, very light. I actually have Oroloa and 3766. Peacock blue light, I have Oroloa. All right, I think I'm on a roll. I think I'm on a roll. I don't want to jinx myself here. But we're going to go into the 800s now because that's the highest on this strip. All right, that's 900s. One more page, 800s. Okay, let's see here. We have 825, 825 blue dark, really? And nope, I see the sticker over there and I have a blue card here, 825, boom, done. First bag and it's an Oroloa. And then we have 824 blue, very dark and I see the sticker. So let me go grab another blue card. And 824. And then we have 820. 
royal blue, very dark, we have, and then we have 813, which is on the next page. Blue, light, 813. Nope, we don't have it. I'll get a light blue card. And here is 813. A lot of new colors. I might need to be expanding this box. And now we're going into the 700s, 797 Royal Blue. I got it. And 745 uh, Yellow Light Pale. I don't have it. 745. Here's the sticker. Here's the yellow card. Love it. All right. And then we just have a 300. 3, 2, 7. I'm going to say I had that one. I hope everybody is having a good March so far. Violet. I don't have an Oraloa, but I have a card. All right, on to the next. We got an AB. We ignore that. We need to go into the 37 and 8. So we're going all the way back, back. Um, 3770 is on the next page. 3770, Tawny Very Light. I feel like I already did that. It must have been Tawny Light. I don't know. And then um, 3837 on the next page. 3837, Lavender Ultra Dark, I have. And then 3865. I definitely have the card for this. 3865. What? Stop. 3866. 3865. We got it. I have no idea who that belongs to. All right, so I have, I oh, I have premium and then something else, but whatever, we have it. So 38.65, I forgot to go all the way over. Orlo, we got it. All right, this is done. All right, so we're gonna go back to the 900s. Here we are, 9.30, Antique Blue Dark. We don't have 9.30 right here. Nope, we surely don't. Using a lot of blue cards today. Um, then I have, I have an AB here. Um, the next is 700, 791, Cornflower Blue Very Dark. Don't have that either. I am literally going to have all the blues. I didn't realize how much blue was in this. That's funny. When I think of it, I think of purple, but tons of blues, 791. And then we're going to go to 600. Let's turn the page. 600. What is, oh, one more page. What is 600? Cranberry, very dark. And we have the card. This will be our first Oraloa. And then 500s. Okay. So we did those 519. There's not a lot of 500s. Sky blue, another blue that we don't have. We'll be loving the blues on this one. 519. We're going to get the light blue card out. Okay, and then we have 504, and it's blue, green, very light. And again, this is a new card, 50, oh, see that? So, okay, it's on here, it says 504, and there's an asterisk, but it's not on here because it must be one of our made up numbers. <laughs> I'm guessing, I don't know. Um, so usually what I do for that is, is I'll grab, I'll have to grab, and honestly, I wish I had done this in the beginning that I just used these labels that I printed up. I got these from Jones Diamond Painting. She, um, so you can go on her site and then if you go on her printable, Google Docs, she 
she has um, and you get the Avery labels. I got 8167. You can print up your own labels. These labels. So let's see. So um, I, I wish I used these on my cards, but I can go back and put them over it because they're huge. And maybe I will one day. I don't know. But um, what am I doing? <sighs> 504. All right. So I need 504. So that's 504. So because these say blue, green, very light. So I'm going to get that. And grab one of these. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we have one more on here, and that's 340. Three forty blue violet medium. We have the card, my first Oraloa. Okay, let's start with this one. This has like the low numbers on it. So one fifty two, one fifty two tawny dark. I got one fifty four red very dark. I have also I have Oraloa. Forget me not blue one fifty five. I have. 158 blue dark I have 161 petrol blue dark I don't have wow tons and tons of blues 161 petrol blue dark well, I got you now 160 the wind is blowing like a mad person out there 162 I also do not have Baby blue light. I know that because I can see the sticker right here. Baby blue light. And then 208 for sure, for sure. I would be shocked. Lavender very dark. I have a card, just not an Oraloa. Okay, and then 223. Shell pink light. I don't have the card for. I get a pink card. I'm feeling very confident about this. Shh. What was it? 223. 223. Here we go. And then, of course, we have 310. And of course, we have that in Oralawa. And then 798. It's another blue. Let's see if we have this one. I feel like this number is pretty popular. 798, yes, Delft Blue Dark. I'm always going with the Delfts. Okay, we're done with these stickers. It's like Beaver Gray, which we did not have today. <laughs> the Beaver family did not show up. Leave it to Beaver. But the Delft Blue did. Oh, you belong in here too. I always have to make this harder than it needs to be. Okay, and we can put the book away. For the most part, I, I usually don't have to pull this book back out unless I go in and I'm like, it said we had it and we don't, blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. So let's put these in order. So 161, 162, 223, 504, 519, 7, 9, 7, 45, 8, 13, 8, 24, 8, 25, 37, 37, 7, 61. All right, let's see if I did that right. 161, oh, <laughs> I'm going to put them out of order. 161, 62, 223, 504, 519, 745, 761, 791, 
8, 13, 24, 25, 9, 30, 37, 08, 37, 50. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 new colors. Okay, that's a lot. I feel like that's a lot. I should be done with those as well. I have my bags here. Okay, let's start with this one because it actually kind of goes in order. And then all the other ones, I'm gonna be like all over the place. Um, I'm gonna use this pencil to mark my spot. So the first one we have is 152. I feel like I usually have a lot more stuff around me, so I'm kind of confused, I hope. I have enough. And I know this is an Oraloa. So let's see, does it match? I, I feel like it actually does not match. I have a tray here, but now I'm wishing I had a smaller one. And luckily my art cart has smaller ones in it. Actually, it does match. All right, so I know these stickers on here are, are Oraloa. Yeah, that matches. So that was what, 152? Um, I did that one night when I un when I kitted down. <laughs> I was like, what is this called again? Guys, my grandmom had dementia and I, Seriously, I'm constantly worried about developing dementia. And my my mind has been, I don't know, I feel like not right. My friend says it's from grief. And maybe that's true. I, I hope it's true. But like, I, I'm going to give you some examples. It's, it's, I mean, like downright, I've been scared on how delayed my mind has been in some instances. For example, so this is an Oraloa. Let's see if it matches. Okay. You know how my neighbor's wife passed away? Now, I, if you don't know, I had spoke, spoken about it. My neighbor's wife had passed away and that matched, by the way, obviously, or I wouldn't have put it in here. Um, and um, Bob and I attended her viewing. I, and now, see, I can't remember how many years they were married, but they were married for quite a long time. I want to say 60 years. Is that right? I don't know. And... Um, I would have to go back and listen to my own video. I really cannot tell you. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff that I used to remember, like the back of my hand. I, I mean, I had a memory like an elephant. I really did. And so this is a new card, 161. So, I'm gonna know these are Oralo because that's the Oralo washi. <laughs> um, I I told someone at work about it. Apparently, I don't remember telling her, and she was helping me um, with something, and she says to me, "How's your neighbor doing?" And honestly, I was like, really, I was really caught off guard because I wasn't sure why she was asking me about my neighbor. And I kind of like, I, I was like my neighbor and guys, my mind blank. Like it was scary. I like talked to Bob and my girlfriend about this. I couldn't think of one neighbor, nothing, nothing. Came, I couldn't even picture my house. 
I, I don't know if it was just that I was so taken aback, like she was asking me about my neighbors because I forgot I, I spoke to her about it. And so I couldn't think of why in the world we would be talking about my neighbors. But literally, mind was like crickets. I'm just standing there and I'm looking at her, trying to process the question. Oh, and this is my mug from Diamond Painting with Jack. Oklahoma. I remember singing a song in eighth grade. Oklahoma. I can't remember the song now. I can't remember anything. <laughs> Um, but I do remember we had to like, we practiced and practiced that song. Um, and I can't think of anything else when I, when I see the name, the, the word Oklahoma. Now I'll think about Jack. If you guys don't know who Diamond Painting with Jack is, head over to her, um, channel she's a, she's adorable and sweet and she's a nurse so we love her just for that okay we're done our first box I literally had nothing going on in my brain I was just sitting there looking at her like I felt like you ever see that Spongebob episode where he was helping with a restaurant and they're like, forget everything but your name. And then the guy asks him what his name is and he's running around and he's like, what's my name? What's my name? And then they go into his brain and he's like going through filing cabinets and stuff. Literally what was happening in my head. I was SpongeBob looking for my neighbors, my house. So you know what first pops into my head? First thing that pops in my head? My, my, the house that I moved from, I've been in this house since 2019. I think of that house. Okay. I think of the other house. I was there for a lot longer. I start thinking of those neighbors. All right. I'm thinking, why is she asking me about like, what? I don't know anything that's going on with them. Like, I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know what was happening in my head, but it wasn't like anything that was like logical. I was completely lost and I, I, I recovered quickly. I don't think she noticed. Maybe she did. Maybe she was just like, okay, Kim, <laughs> like maybe she thought, you know, I was having a malfunction or like I sprung a leak. I don't know. Maybe I looked like that. I felt like that. I certainly felt like that. And I just, I started thinking about my neighbor, my old neighbors and like, I have a theory about my old neighbor. It's completely a theory. I think it's true. I'm I'm going with it. It's 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 a theory that is reality in my mind. Um I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I could not remember any of my neighbors here. I talked we talked to almost all of our neighbors here. Um Well, that that's not true. But we talked to our surrounding neighbors. So I'm on a corner. We talked to Bill across the street who just lost his wife of 60 years or so is what I'm going with now. Um, and then we vaguely talked to the, the person next to him who I found out I did speak to him. Oh, this is another, I, I guess I do have a lot of crap to talk about. Um, he's a woodworker. So I did ask him about frames. And he said, yeah, he could, he could try to make a frame for me. Okay. So you know, who, you know what I'm going to ask him to make a frame for, um, my distracted by diamonds. Cause that thing is huge. Like I could do the, so, you know, that, and I told him, of course I'd pay you for it, pay you for the, your labor, the wood, blah, blah, blah. And he said it wouldn't be a lot of money, but he doesn't know how big the picture is yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he made, he makes a lot of stuff. Anyway, he's out there every day. I was like, okay, well I have to measure something, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I'll measure two canvases. And if he wants to start small, you know, he can start with a smaller one. But anyway, um, talk to him. And then next to them is the people with the Doberman who we do talk to, uh, every time we see them outside. Very nice. Our neighbors are nice. And then our, right next to our, uh, our house, 
she's a sweetheart. She constantly like leaves um, gifts on our porch. Uh, she, I think she's in her 80s. And um, every time I say, how are you? She's like, it's another day above ground. <laughs> So I'm doing great. My son was in the car when she said that to me one time and he looked at me and he was like, what amazing attitude. <laughs> He's like, I love that. I mean, she's just adorable. And uh, her name is Claudia and she signs her Christmas stuff. Santa, San, Santa Claudia <laughs> instead of Santa Claus. She's adorable. Anyway, um, so yeah, the fact that I could not... I think this is Oraloa. I think that this, and it matches this one. The fact that I couldn't think of any of them, I don't know. My head space was, was not right. And so I couldn't, I couldn't even picture my house guys. So that's what really scared me was like, I couldn't even picture my house, my street. Like I was, com I was drawing complete blanks. And, um, you know, when, once it all came together and I was like, oh, oh, you mean the guy who lost his wife? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I, I haven't really seen him. Bob, Bob sees him and talks to him really. Like he's been keeping busy, like his car, he's, he's out and about a lot. You know, he was already working a part-time job, but I'm sure he's keeping busy because, you know, he's probably has to like I understand that I've been keeping really busy too so um yeah I was I don't know what was wrong with me though it really was upsetting so I I, I tell my I tell my husband I tell Bob I tell my girlfriend you know um there was another example and I probably won't be able to remember it because there's something wrong I am convinced there's something wrong, but, um, what was my other example? Let's see, nothing. So I was like texting her and I'm, I'm telling her like about these things that are happening with my, my brain and my memory. And, um, she thinks it's just grief. You know, and then I thought about it. And I was like, you know, I did. I have noticed it really since, you know, my loss. And, um, you know, I think that that's a good theory. But here's the thing. My grandmom did have dementia. And, um, and I remember my grandfather always being worried that he was going to get dementia. And he showed me an article. Well, first he asked me, he said, Kim, do I ever say anything that seems off or doesn't make sense? My grandfather was amazing. Uh, I talk about him all the time. Everything about him was amazing. His morals, his, the way he carried himself, the way he treated people, everything. Like literally as flawless of a human as you can get with the ability of having flaws. You know what I mean? And I was like, no. And he's like, well, if I ever do, you would tell me, right? And I said, yeah, I'll tell you. And then he had me read an article about like early signs of dementia and stuff. And I was like, you're worried about this pop? And he's like, he's like, he said he was. Now, I think he was just concerned because he took care of my grandmom and he knew he was older I don't know I should have like delved more into it was it like me that like he felt like he was forgetting things I mean so you know I tell Bob and Bob Bob just says you know welcome to getting older like you know he just ch chucks it up to like, I'm just older, and so, yeah, I'm going to forget some crap here and there, and it, and it is what it is, and it's not a big deal. But, like, I just feel like the drawing a blank, does anybody do that? Like, complete blank? So that, that, I don't know, that scared me to death, and I felt like that was a little extreme. And, 
I, I, and so now I, I, maybe it's because I'm hyper focused on it and I'm just like terrified that this is happening to me. And, you know, I'm, I don't know. I, you know, I know, I don't, they don't know if it runs in, you know, I, I know, I, I don't believe they know if dementia runs is genetic or like, you know, they're not sure it can be, it can't be blah, blah, blah. So, but of course, if you have somebody that was, you know, an immediate family member, naturally, I feel like, of course, you're going to worry about it, right? So that's where I'm at. I'm very worried. But I also then I start thinking, okay, could it be my blood pressure medication? Like I've been taking this, that blood pressure medication for migraines. That's another thing like, oh, my migraines related to the fact that like my brain is malfunctioning now. I don't know. <laughs> you could really run away with this and scare the crap out of yourself. It's just, I'm just saying like, I, it's just, it's not fun. So I've been dealing with that and I really, honestly, I would have to take, stop recording and look at my phone to see other examples but then I remember sir like so I, I honestly I swear to God I went and I did a um, a dementia test online and it asked me stuff like do you remember your birthday and uh, I mean I felt like really basic. Oh, excuse my stomach. See, I messed up. That's why I didn't match. Um, put that aside. We'll go look at that in a minute. Okay. I was going to say that's really off. It's actually kind of close, but... A lot of the, I mean, most of the oral lows have been matching each other perfectly. So 37, 13, let's see. 37, 37, 13. It's right here. And it's an oral loa. And I am going to keep it in a separate bag. Okay. 37.66. I don't know. Like, I, I you know, I'm like, do, it asked me, do you lose your keys often? I mean, I do not lose them, but I don't know where I put them because I put them in it. And, and this is something that Bob has yelled at me about. For years, you know, put your keys in the same spot so you always know where they are. Like, I don't do that. I put them in this bag or that bag. I'm carrying this in. I throw it in here. I have it in this pocket, that pocket. I throw it on the counter. I walk into my bedroom to get something and I drop it on my vanity. Like, so I feel like that is not, <laughs> you can't judge it on that. Because, like, I've been that, like that forever just all over the place and not very structured about that. Whereas Bob, you know, he literally comes in and he drops his keys in the same spot every time. <laughs> um, he's like, this is why I do this so that I don't lose them. I know exactly where they are. You can ask me anytime, where are your keys? And I'll show you exactly where they are. <laughs> I used to do this with my debit card before I had a wallet I liked. My daughter bought me a wallet that I really like. And um, it would drive him crazy. We would be out food shopping and I would be looking through my purse in every pocket. Every, it, it, he was just like. And then after I would pay, I would just throw it in my purse. And he would grab my purse from me and be like, we would not have to go through this every time. Like, cause I'd be like, maybe I don't have it. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. 
So yeah, those questions are not good questions about whether or not I have dementia. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one I did. So, so yeah, here's, here's the one. So these are Oraloa. That's the one I was, I ran out of. That's an AB, 600. Um, I don't know. I think it's obviously, I, I wouldn't even be thinking this I, if my grandmom didn't have dementia. So that's, I feel like maybe that should be why I, I should just chill out and stop acting crazy. I had a feeling that this was one I didn't have. 791. See, I am remembering things. <laughs> oh my goodness. 791. Um... So I told you guys about the frame because I know I, I kind of veered into that conversation. But there was something, see, oh my gosh. There's something else I said. I'll tell you guys about that. Oh, my other neighbor, 930. So we lived next to this guy. And he was a young guy and he definitely liked to party. And... um He was nice enough. I mean, we never had an issue with our neighbors in the old place. Um, they would have parties. He was constantly with different boyfriends. Like he would have a boyfriend move in. And so he had a, he had a roommate and she was a sweetheart. Um, and they were best friends. So he and his roommate were best friends. And then he had a multitude of boyfriends that would move in. And so he and his best friend, they they had a falling out. And she said it was like, he just decided he couldn't stand her, like out of nowhere. I didn't know this guy very well, but I did talk to the, the female. Um, he wasn't as like friendly. I mean, we were, uh, uh, I had kids and stuff, so, you know, that wasn't his bag, but she was a young woman. She was you know, she eventually got married and had children. So she liked kids and we would talk every now and then. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, <clears throat> we are like hours later. <laughs> like it is like one o'clock in the morning now. Um, I said, hold on. Cause I was like, let me go make my oatmeal. And then I realized what time it was. And not only did I have to make my oatmeal, but I had to get ready and I had to go. Uh, my, my two out of town aunts are in town staying with my other aunt for a personal family reason. And, and I got together with them and it was a really amazing day. Like we had a lot of conversation and it was really, really, really nice. And I was going to stay the night. That was my intentions. But I, <clears throat> I didn't go to the gym and I did eat like bad food. And so I was like, you know, my gym is 24 hours <laughs> and I kind of want to go to the gym now. So I did, I went to the gym I just got home and it's, I, it's like quarter to two in the morning. Yeah. I'm crazy. I'm sorry. I am nuts. I understand that. Um, I'm eating pretzels. So because I just had a protein shake and you want to have some carbs with that. So <laughs> whatever. Anyway, we are hours later and I'm going to finish this kit down tonight before I go to bed. I'm going to finish this kit down. We have two more rows. We can do this. Um, it's not that bad. Okay. So 209. Um, <clears throat> I did go back to see where I was in my conversation with you guys. I have coffee, but it's decaf. I actually have decaf coffee because I enjoy the taste of coffee. And so I, I understand that I drink too much caffeine. I mean, just in general, too much caffeine throughout the day. And I, um, 
I like to have coffee at night because it warms me up and it tastes good and I just enjoy a nice cup of coffee. So I pick up some decaf to have when, you know, I really shouldn't be having caffeine. And now is one of those moments for sure. Okay. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my neighbor. So, I mean, long story short, I think that he ended up going to jail for like multiple DUIs. Like every once in a while, there would be two cars, one car, like I saw one car a couple times, like it would be banged up a little bit and, and then just sitting in the driveway. And um, oh, these are both Oraloa, right? And they're the same color. I guess I didn't realize these were Oraloa. I should put them all together. Right? Now I know that the, the pink sticker is Oraloa. Yeah, let's put them all together. I know for a fact these are Oraloa, so in case I forget again. Um, so like every once in a while, there would be an extra car in the driveway banged up and then he would come back with a new car and I just thought he was a, like an awful driver or something. I don't know. Well, then he like disappeared and he had a dog and, um, and I would see his mom come with the dog every once in a while. And he was like ne not seen for like a couple months at all. And car was completely gone. And um, <clears throat> he, uh, and then he came back and then he was walking everywhere. So that was just my theory. Like he actually had to Uber to work every morning. Um, I would see him getting, you know, and, and I saw him walking like one day with all of his dry cleaning. I mean, like heavy, heavy, like lots of clothes from the dry cleaner. So I pulled over and I asked him if he wanted a ride. He, he said no. Um, I felt bad, but that was just my theory. Um, and when my coworker asked me about my neighbor, for some reason, I thought she was asking me about him. <laughs> I'm just like, how would I know? <laughs> so anyway, um, speaking of that, I, <clears throat> I did ask my aunts if, oh, I did it again. Do these look the same? No, these actually do look a little lighter. I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, if they ever worry about dementia. Now, of course, they're older than I am. And so they said, of course. But they said, you know, not any more than probably anyone else their age. Because, like, not because, you know, my nanny had it. Um and that they think it was, you know, a, like a vascular issue or something like that. And I don't know, I felt a little better about it. And I, I was telling them why I was worried about it. And they, they think that they were like, well, you know, I always thought of you as having the memory of like a steel trap. And I was like, that's how I always felt. But I feel like now I'm forgetting a lot of things. But then as we were talking, I'm like, oh, remember when you said this? And like, oh, remember, I remember you said this when I was really little and blah, blah, blah. And they, so they were like, you're doing it now. Like, so I felt a little better after our conversation that maybe I'm just being 761, you know, a little paranoid. But... And I, I think, I guess they think it was like a vascular issue. I, th I guess like a blood pressure issue. They were saying maybe, I don't know. And my blood pressure is fine. So 
I just another thing to be paranoid about, I guess. And yeah, but we had a really good time. We went to um, Nordstrom's Rack and um, I bought, I, I, I like don't have a lot of clothes. I have workout clothes and I have scrubs. That's pretty much, oh wait, oh my God, these are 3608. And I'm like, why are these so different? These are 3608 and that's 3708. There's, they're both pinks, but still 37. 30, maybe I don't have, 3708. Um, and I bought, and it's funny because when I went in there, I, I was looking at the clothes and I'm like, what, like, what kind of tops do I like? I don't even know what kind of tops I like. What, what kind of tops would I buy? You know, is, is this my style? Is this my style? And I ended up walking out with, um, or not walking out with, obviously, buying like five tops, I think. <laughs> and no, no pants. Like, I didn't find any pants I liked. Uh, it's kind of, my intentions were to get pants. But I, I got no pants. Came out with all the tops. And, I, and pantsless. Thirty-seven fifty, uh, and a pair of shoes. And I told them, I'm like, I don't know why, but I went on like, remember when I cleaned my closet? I, I mean, this was not too long ago, and I I did do a video on it, and I actually showed you guys how I organized my my closet in my bedroom. And I, um, all right, so thirty-seven fifty. 3747, 3750. And I like purged my closet and threw out a ton of stuff that I was like, I was like, I'm never gonna wear this. I'm too old for this. I'm too old for that. Like this, this would not it's like it's time to time to hang this up. You're not gonna look good in this. You know, um, and I um 327 and a lot of the stuff was like 20 years old so I had this pair of black pants that I really loved and they were nice and they were thick you know and I only wore them on special occasions and I got them for my grandmother's funeral my my aunt the, one of the aunts that is here and I went shopping together and I got them for my grandmother's funeral. And um, I, I guess I threw them out. I guess I was like, you know what? You've had these forever. Like it's time to get upgrade and get a new pair of pants. I don't know why. And then there was, and so I told her, I told my aunt, I was like, I threw, I threw those pants away. She's like, Kim, Annie died like over 20 years ago. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, but <laughs> I I still don't understand why I threw them out. And then um, I had uh, a skirt, a, a black skirt. It was kind of like, you know, it was like form fitting and it flared out a little bit. And I loved that skirt and I wore it. I actually wore it on my first nursing job interview. And then I wore it on the interview that I had in 2020 for the job, the job that I'm at now. Oh, that's interesting. There's nothing in this bag. And, uh, and this is Orloa. So there you go. And, uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess I thought it was time to get a new skirt for that as well, because, you know, that was in 2008, I guess I got it. Anyway, I threw out apparently all of my dress stuff. And so I needed to get like a 
a black pair of pants or something and I didn't find anything. So I don't know. I, I'm going to have to go out again tomorrow and try to find something. But um, yeah, I, I'm telling them. Like, and then I bought, I did buy a pair of shoes and I told them I was like, so it's similar to a pair of shoes that I have still and I really, really love, but they're so old. Like I got them in, um, what year did I get them? I got them, I think the year after Bob and I got married. So we got married in 2011. So I got them in 2012, right? So they're over, they're like 12 years old. And, um, they're, so they're the kind of, they're like strappy heels that, you know, they go, there's a strap over your toe and then there's a strap around your ankle. Well, the strap over your toe, you know, I've worn them so many times to like, um, parties and, you know, different things, weddings and, um, the, the, the strap over my toes has, has stretched out from me dancing in them and everything else. And, um, 820. And I, uh, <laughs> oh wait, why did I do, why didn't I, 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 I don't even know what I'm doing. There's an oil low right here and it matches. Not sure why I did that. Um, and so when I do wear them, because I still have them and I s still will wear them every now and again, I have to like constantly push my foot back up so that they're not hanging over the edge. They're just a pain in the butt. I mean, they're, they're just, they're time. It's time to retire them. I still love them, but, um, you know, they're just, they're worn. They're stretched out and I, yeah, it's time to get rid of them. So I did. Well, I didn't. They're still in my closet, but I, I found a pair of shoes very similar to them. The only difference is, is their, um, patent leather. And the other ones were just, you know, leather. So I, I, I like the other ones better, but it's still, they're, they're the same style. And I really like that style still. And I think they're very versatile and they go with a lot of different outfits. So I picked them up. So I got those and like five shirts and no pants. So my feet are going to look good. My top is going to look good, but it's questionable on the bottom. <laughs> 825. Okay. Boom. Done. Now all I have left are my ABs. These are all, this is all garbage. This, the stickers that I didn't need. And it's, it's, so we didn't have to expand the box. We, got, we still got plenty of room. We shuffle around pretty good. All right. I have, um, I still have to kick down my Christmas, two, my two Christmas canvases believe it or not, both Christmas canvases, which are, are both Ever Moment drills. So I'm making an Ever Moment drill box and I'll, I'll do that with you guys. Um, and what else? Uh, I think that's it. Oh no, my dreamers designs, life above the fray have not kitted that down yet either. So I, I'm just like, what are you doing? I have, I thought I was keeping up with that, but apparently not. <laughs> okay, let me go grab my Oraloa drawer and we'll go ahead and put these ABs away. So these are all Oraloas, and let's see here. I have 743. Do I have a 743? No, I have a 742. 
So I have to make a new bottle for this. This is just how I've been keeping them. And then, does this come off? Yes. I need my scissors. off like oh cutting this off like that and then right down above it or lower okay and then I have 210 I do have a 210 and it is square I have to check that too and they are the same color. So awesome. And I want to get more of these art dot drawers. And then I have 60602. So I have 602. I need a new one. Six oh seven. So I had two ten three twenty one six 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 four 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 nine nine five nine nine six seven sixty two three forty nine seven forty two five fifty two hundred seven forty three six oh two so thirty six oh seven. I have to get a new one. That's it guys. <laughs> um, I've been keeping my trash in these bags. I need to get a new container. put the drawer back. I can put these back together. So I'm using both of my Elizabeth Ward for the mountain castle. So I'm wondering if I can use this for my next kit up. I don't remember how many colors are in the next. Okay. And that's all she wrote, guys. All done. That is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Chemist Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.